Day 16, November 7th. November 7th is my favorite day of the whole year. I like it better than Christmas, Thanksgiving, my birthday, New Year's Eve, maybe all combined. Seems like over the years, I've had more successful hunts for bigger deer on November 7th than any other day of the season. Today is probably a little bit warmer than most years for November 7th. It's a 45 degree morning, but we got light and variable winds, so I couldn't hunt the spot that I really wanted to. I hate going into spots with a light and variable wind because the chances are something around you is gonna pick you off. We're in more like a travel corridor than anything. There's a big block of timber in that direction and then there's a bedding area down below me. And the deer just move back and forth through these areas, the bucks especially during the rut. I mean, you'll see them cruising through this little area uh, pretty much nonstop in November. We've seen a chase already this morning. It was that buck with the long, little eight-pointer with the long G2s. Uh, we filmed him a few times now. He was running some does out there in that clover field. It's a... Uh, supposed to turn cold tomorrow. Col colder. Um, highs in the 50s, which is going to be a nice break from the 70s that we've had. We're going to switch around and get some of those northwest winds, which will, which will open up a couple more tree stands that we haven't had a chance to hunt yet for a while. So I'm looking forward to that. But today, uh, I've got high hopes. November 7th. Let the games begin. That's it for this morning. It really died down fast after about, uh, oh, maybe 8.30. <clears throat> Excuse me, the uh, couple good chases, younger bucks. But uh, we'll come up with a good plan for this afternoon and hopefully we can uh, find a mature buck to get in front of the camera. For this afternoon's hunt, I'm gonna go up the valley. It's been a fairly popular route here recently going up the creek. Except this time we're going to veer away from that grass field. We're going to go clear on up the valley even further. I pulled uh, cards out of two cameras today. And uh, the buck that we're calling Fisher, which is the smaller bodied of the two that we had out in the grass field a few days ago. Uh, he's showing up in daylight up that valley some. And then uh, Skinny, which we haven't had any pictures of him for probably better than a week. Uh, he was in daylight up in there, and that's been probably three days ago on uh, Skinny and, you know, three, two, three days ago on this Fisher buck. So we've got a couple of targets that at least have in the past been there in the day, which means that our cameras can't cover everything, so there's a chance that they're there every single day during daylight. So uh, we're going to go up in there. There's a redneck blind that covers this whole little s narrow uh, part of the valley. And that's where we're going to be sitting. Anything that comes down through there will be within bow range. Uh, and it also gives us a pretty good way to look, you know, up and down that valley and, and hopefully at least see one of those deer crossing and give us a better fix on where they're living at. Uh, redneck blinds are nice because if you keep just one window open, the rest of them closed, and run the ozonics in there, there's little chance that any, any deer downwind of you are going to pick you up. Today is very still this afternoon. Um, I mean, the leaves aren't moving at all right now, so it actually feels kind of heavy and humid, a little bit more than what we've had in the past few days, so it doesn't feel good as far as deer movement. I don't like these really humid and warm days. High temperatures probably in the upper 60s right now, but the humidity makes it feel like it's a lot warmer than that. Hopefully, uh, November 7th makes up for some of the weaknesses that we've got in the weather and the deer will be on their feet and we'll at least get a chance to see one of these two bucks. I'm down to about the last 20 minutes of legal shooting time today. So far we've just seen uh, a fawn and two does. And the two does work past the blind down the valley. Uh, so the next stop for them would be that soybean food plot where we've been hunting oh three, four or five days ago. We had that stand on the edge of that 
a small plot and then we abandoned it because the deer kept picking us off. That's where they're headed. And then eventually they'll probably cross the creek and end up down in that grass field. So that's kind of the progression. They come from clover field up above us, this field right here, which is basically grass. And then they move into uh, uh, soybeans and pig and beastie. Then across the creek, <laughs> and there's more big and beastie and some standing corn. So there's quite a smorgasbord of food. The two bucks that we were hoping to see didn't come out, at least not yet. 20 more minutes, there's a, you know, at least some chance we could see some more deer before we're done here. And if so, we'll bring it to you at the end of the blog. Either way, uh, tomorrow is supposed to be cooler. And we'll definitely be in a tree stand uh, tomorrow morning and tomorrow evening for sure. So check back again tomorrow night and we'll bring you the next update in the quest for skinny.